really get a good chance to talk about this thing, but the uh, Sledgefire here from the Zombie Strike line is really, really good. Make Test Battle has an excellent upgrade video on how to make this thing punch holes through cardboard like none other. And it should be one of your first powerful Springer mods. If you happen to have this, it's really easy to get the stuff to make this thing good. In fact, the springs that I have in mine, I have extra internals over here. This is from the project that I have yet to finish, but I might as well borrow the internals for this. I got those from Home Depot. So then you just need like a rubber gasket and to modify the barrel. It's really easy stuff, but it's a great little shotgun. I actually like the shell mechanics in these things, especially the fact that this will eject shells if you modify the little that shell pusher thingy in there, but these hit hard and they fired even stock. It wasn't the greatest of ranges, but it was a shotgun. It was like my bread and butter at Dart Wars when I used to go there. I like the sludge fire a lot and uh, well, it seems recently it's been getting some love. Yes, you could get like little shell inserts and stuff for it, but uh, I'm going to butcher this, but Malang 3D, Malong 3D, they uh, did that uh, 3D printed barrel I used for my hammer shot and they've been doing a lot of 3D printed stuff they are a manufacturer of I guess 3D printed designs and stuff like that they've put out sledge fire stuff now and these are a little bit different because not only is it just not a cosmetic piece that you slap on the front of your sledge fire but it actually makes your sledge fire like a double barrel like, it actually has guides in there for single darts, like two darts instead of a three-shot shell, so you could open it up, shove two darts in there, close it, and fire it, which is really interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to work, especially with it being, well, 3D printed, and I guess I have to glue that rubber piece on, but it seems pretty good when I put darts in there. Um, here we go. When I put a dart in here, like, there's a good amount of squeeze on it. So I'm hoping this will be pretty good, but if not, I might have to brass it, which uh, may be something for a later video, but I've got this in bright orange and it's significantly longer than the original Zombie Strike Sledgefire barrel, which makes it look a lot better because this just looks kind of dinky to me. And I've also got the stock for it, a brand new stock, which is a mostly cosmetic piece at this point. It should be relatively more comfortable, but it does come with a dart holder, which is a bit important because obviously with this thing you're not going to be holding shells anymore. You've converted to be a breech-loaded shotgun kind of thing. So, uh, well, no, not kind of thing is a thing. I've got a dart holder for it, and annoyingly, kind of annoyingly, it only comes with one. Which, uh, I thought was a little ridiculous. It should come with two of them. I know you can buy these separately on NF Strike, and all this stuff was sent to me by nfstrike.com, so if you're looking to buy one of these after I put it together and fired it, well, there is a link down in the description below to take you to their website to purchase it, along with a whole bunch of stuff. They send me a lot of things, and I really appreciate it, because then I get to show you guys a bunch of stuff and get to play with new toys that I didn't actually have to pay for, but, of course, my opinions are still completely my own, and hopefully my opinions of this are pretty high, because I'd love to get around to rocking a sludge fire. In fact, the reason why I have this third one here, which I got from my friend Steven, is because because I want to make a single really good sludge fire. Um, now it's gonna be a 3D printed barrel and stuff like that, but if I really wanted to, I could just fill in one of these holes and put brass in one of them and have a single one, so you never know. But the point is, uh, I really wanted one, he gave me a second one, because the two I have are, uh, well, they're part of a project. Now I am worried, because I am going to be putting in a much stronger spring and stuff in here. I'm hoping these 3D printed pieces, because like this stuff right here, does not seem very strong, but hopefully it's pretty good. It comes with a new adapter piece and everything like that. So uh, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping it's like, that's the part where the rod's gonna connect to for priming and it's, it's metal, so it should be pretty good. So I'm going to install these pieces and I'm going to test them with the upgraded spring to give this the best shot of blowing me away. And if I can get like 90 to 100 FPS per barrel, I'm gonna call that a success. Uh, more than that would be preferred, but if I can get like 90 to 100 FPS, I'll be pretty happy. So uh, without further fanware, let's just uh, get this thing apart and get this thing installed. So 
So, I'm not entirely sure if with this kit, because I don't have any instructions or anything, if you need to remove the air restrictors. I'm kind of guessing you do, but I'm not entirely certain. So I'm going to kind of look at this for a second and see. Come on, come on. Oh, I have to take apart one more screw to get this thing out of there. There we go. Come on. There we go. So this one, the reason why I'm changing is because this air restrictor is kind of messed up. It might actually depress down all three air restrictors stock. In fact, it looks like it kind of will. I'm not going to. I'm just going to go to my internals that already have that done. But just keep that in mind. You may have to remove air restrictors or something to put that together. Next up is, of course, putting this piece in. And to do that, I will have to remove this grub screw which conveniently, it came with the Allen key to do that, which I really like because uh, I always seem to lose these things. Right, so that's gonna go like that. That's gonna go in there. And this is going to go threading back down. That should be pretty strong, but I'm still a little worried about it. Hopefully it's okay, because I don't want to break this. I need to remove this from that because this is going to replace that and there are in fact screws for this and I, this does come in other colors I prefer orange because well that's the safest um, it's also easier for me to paint than black although I do believe it comes in gray or a white as well which might have actually been a better idea now that I think about it. There we go. Now for the stock. This has its own new stock connector. With its own screws and everything. Like that. And then this will go on, yep, like so. Is this actually longer than the original? Yeah, barely. Still, it, it really makes this thing look like a more respectable shotgun, because I'm not gonna lie, it's a shorty sawed off kind of thing, but it just the proportions are so weird on the normal sledge fire that I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have a slightly more appropriate longer one. It's in there. That goes like that. And that is essentially all we needed to do. Yep, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. That is looking really cool. Still a little too short, but still looking much better. All right, before we get to actually firing this thing, I do want to comment on the print quality. It's it's more than acceptable. In fact, I would say it's pretty freaking good, especially for unfinished parts. It's not up to the same caliber as I would put most of the worker stuff that I get in, the F10 Drupal 5 stuff, but it's still relatively good, I would say. There are some slight imperfections. Up here was definitely one of them, and there's some minor issues here or there, but it's still a nice design, and it's really, really good. Comfortable, holy wow! What the heck? That is so much more comfortable! Oh! Okay, well I'm just gonna set that in here for right now. I'm not going to glue it yet, although I do think you would have to glue this washer in. Oh man, please be good. I really want you to like blow me away performance wise. So I'm gonna stick these in here. And, oh, that, ooh, come on. Uh-oh, might actually be too tight on the bottom. I don't know if I've tested the bottom yet. That's no good. Nope, there we go. Okay. Oh, please be good. Okay. It's all locked up. Uh... Huh. That is with 
the improved internals too. Oh no, that didn't seem very good. Let me actually do a ranged shot. Okay, no, you know what? It's it's not half bad. Um, let's take this out and see exactly what it's doing, because that that wasn't that bad, to be perfectly honest. And the spread was pretty good. Alright, I went out there and got some firing footage, as you can see, with the very, very bright white elite darts that are brand new. The spread and distance are really good for what this thing is. I'm actually really impressed with it. Loading isn't all that great, and I think this could definitely hit a lot harder with proper brass barrels, which I will definitely have to do in the future and would be relatively easy to add to something like this. So you might not have to have a whole kind of crazy overhauled springed up sludge fire in order to make this work that good, but uh, it definitely is nice to have, and I'm really impressed with how this works. If I can improve the loading somewhat by having brass barrels in there, maybe like 9 16 with tightening rings or something on it, and make that a little bit smoother, I think this will be far better, because if I could load this thing quickly, it'd be, I think, one of my favorite blasters. That being said, it really does perform, I would say, war-worthy out of the box, especially with a two-dart shot. Two darts is definitely easier to hit a target with than one, and these do have a good spread, and yet it's still incredibly accurate at the same time. So, definitely a winner in my book if you're looking for something like this, especially a given a nice barrel to the sledge fire. I definitely check out the Malang 3D. Uh, it says Malang 3D and Pluto. And then on the other side, it says Malang 3D, or two elite darts and Pluto on the other side, which is really weird. Pluto like the dog? I, I, I don't know, but if you're looking for something like this, I can definitely recommend it because I'm having a lot of fun with it and I think with brass barrels, it would be even better. It's very comfortable with its stock here being nice and flat and easy to shoulder. Could be a little similar to this, I think, because I thought this was nicer, but it is just, it's really, really comfortable to shoulder now. Incredibly comfortable to shoulder and this is a fair bit longer. So yeah, no, I like it. I will definitely keep this one the way it is. I will most likely have to buy another upgrade spring to finish the current sludge fire project, but this thing needs some painting, some brass barrels, and I think you'll probably see it again because this is really, really cool. And if I can get this thing hitting a little bit harder and feed a little bit faster so I can go all doom guy on some people. Oh, just, oh, I can't wait. Let me know what you think about the double barreled sledge fire mod kit down in the comments section below. Is this something that's uh, worth you dragging the sledge fire out of the closet and hopefully giving it some more love? Because I certainly think it is, but let me know what you think. And as always, this has been Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta. Uh